Best way to open a champagne bottle? <laughs> Dramatic, but wrong. The folks at City Winery in New York pop corks every day. Owner Michael Dorp, he knows the smooth moves. Number one, the unfoiling. Well, there's a little something doohickey. You look for my doohickey. You look for the doohickey. Find that tab and pull off the top, quick and clean. Job you are do, good. Number two, loosen the wire cage, but leave it on. It'll help keep your cork from popping prematurely. You can still hold the foil when you're unwrapping, right? So right. I. Even if it started to come out, I still got my... You still got it on this, okay. And I mean, nobody likes a premature cork. Once that's undone, now, now you want to grab it. Number three, the twist. One hand on the bottle, other grasping the top. And that's where you start to twist the bottle one way and the cork the other way. So, you know, you just do it. Keep a soft pop is good. A loud pop means you probably just spilled a lot of expensive champagne. Number four, the pour. This is where I get tripped up. How do you make it not but fizz over. Well, sometimes fizzing over is dramatic and nice. You just go on an angle and just try and pour it onto the side of the glass like that. At number five, the first sip. No trick to this, just hold the stem and do it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. For the Wall Street Journal, I'm Wendy Bounds, tracking down the best way to live your off-duty life.